If you want to know how well I'm doing so far, uh, just look at my hair. Hello! How are we doing today? Um, I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a little while. I hope you guys are doing well. I've been gone for a little bit. Um, and the reason why I've been gone is because I've been struggling for a whole week. Yeah, it's not been the easiest challenge, I'm not going to lie to you. Um... Yeah, so a few videos back I did a video where I went zero waste and even back then I struggled. I thought it would be a great idea if this time round I did zero waste for a week. And not only that, instead of just focusing on food, which is what I did last time, I'm gonna do it on everything. So every aspect of my life had to be zero waste. Why would I do that to myself? I don't know, but it's been genuinely a, a very eye-opening experience, but it's also been super hard. Where I live, there aren't many zero-waste stores, and unfortunately, we live in a society that is not zero-waste friendly. It felt like everywhere I would turn, all I would see is plastic. When you see that even fruit and veg is covered in plastic, you know it's not going to be an easy week. The approach I took was to try and go zero waste with the resources that was available to me. So basically relying on supermarkets, farmers markets, the butchers. So yeah, I was screwed. This did mean that it would take 10 times more work, but I think this is more of a realistic demonstration of how a regular person would go about doing this. So yeah, let's see how I got on. So this is going to be my rubbish job for this week. We shall see how much rubbish is in here at the end of the week. Hi. So it's day one of doing zero waste for a week. And the first thing I need to do is brush my teeth. I think that rhymed. But before I can brush my teeth, I gotta first make the toothpaste, which is basically what we're gonna do now. And I'm feeling very optimistic about this. What could possibly go wrong? For this, I will need, it's supposed to be baking soda, but I have bicarbonate of soda by Google Den. Apparently, they're kind of the same thing. Bentonite clay, coconut oil. I don't know the exact measurements to make this. So I'm just gonna guess. She proceeded to go ahead and did everything wrong. I don't know how much of this to put in. Classic Taz. Right, mix this baby up and put it on my tea. I just realized I don't have a toothbrush. I ordered a zero waste toothbrush, which is a bamboo one, but it hasn't arrived yet. And I can't use the ones I currently have because they have plastic and that's not comply with the rules. So, I'm gonna have to use my fingers. I hate to say it, but I feel like this is a new low. So this is my toothpaste, which I'm gonna put in my mouth now. Oh, I don't wanna do it. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Okay, there's no good way and easy way to do this. Try not to gag while you're brushing your teeth. My teeth do look clean though. I feel like one of those healthy bloggers, just like. And it's 100% biodegradable. Ding! The toothpaste is still really bad. Uh, at least I can look at it now. So, food. Food is going to be the hardest part of this challenge, hands down. I already know I'm going to struggle with this, so that's going to be fun. One of the first places I went to was the supermarket. I came across the wonky veg box online. It was £3.50 for a full box of veg the box itself was recyclable and there was no packaging what a steal so this box is full of basically rejected veg um, so I'm giving them a home <laughs> so as you can see this carrot has like a split in it I don't know I don't think there's anything wrong with this I think this is a good pepper so I don't really know why this is part of it and then we have things like leek cabbage potatoes but everything looks pretty legit and good to me by the way all of this veg would have gone to waste like as in it would have just gone in the bin all of this for 350 what a bargain what a bargain that's my veg sorted for this week doing this challenge also meant i couldn't use my car for a week this hit me harder than i expected I'm so used to being in my car that now that I'm out in the wild, I can't cope. 
I can't go. Send help. Why is it so cold? Oh, it's so cold. I actually can't feel my fingers. Is that normal? <laughs> the wind is like a constant slap in the face. And um, I'm really getting hit by reactor really hard today, bro. So, I have come to the Cardiff market. I haven't been here with what feels like years. But it's a really good place because it's, I think it's cheap. We'll find out if it's cheap. But they basically sell things with no plastic in it. So you can get fruit and veg, you can get fish, you can get meat with no plastic. So basically this is like my supermarket for this week. And I'm hoping to get some bargains. Let's hope. I was surprised by how much I could get at the market. I'm talking sweets, meat, all the fish you could want. Fresh bread, Welsh cakes, spices. I was so happy to see spices because I genuinely didn't think that was something I was going to be able to find this week. And also fruit and veg. Six for 50p. That's really cheap. Ten plums for a pound. What a bargain. I just met Archie. Hello. And he is so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, you're really cute. But um, you've just come yes. to visit Cardiff a couple of years and he's come to the Cardiff market. Hey. Yeah. Do you like Cardiff? Yes. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. <laughs> but I love your accent. Yeah. Right the thing is, it's like whenever you don't notice your own accent, but then like you notice other people's accents, it's kind of yeah, weird. Do you think I have a Welsh accent? Not really. No. 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 <laughs> okay. No. So you don't know my accent. <laughs> How old are you? Eleven. Oh, bless you. Okay. Well, it was really nice meeting you. Thank you. But enjoy your stay yes, for the I rest will. of Cardiff. But yeah. Cool. Thank you. I'm gonna go back to awkwardly filming now. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. Things are surprisingly very cheap. Actually, I don't know if it's surprising. It just shows I don't come to markets very often, but everything's pretty cheap. I am so chuffed with this place. It's so good if you want to do zero waste. You can pretty much get your basic needs. Because that's what I'm struggling with. It's not even about like getting extra stuff. I just want basic stuff like spices. Where would you find spices without... Um... Oh, you can get sweets? <gasps> you can even get sweets. Some of the veg from the veg box I'm just gonna cut them up and then I'm gonna roast them and then I have my salmon piece there potato chips so that oh that actually looks quite good if you're wondering why I keep having my hood up it's because it's greasy and I haven't washed it I don't know what this is but I am not a fan of it oh this is actually really really good and the salmon is really good too I am really chuffed with this this is really good Highly rate this. It looks like it'd be bland and boring, but it really isn't. If you want to know how well I'm doing so far, uh, just look at my hair. Have you ever seen such a mess? I mean, my god. Alright, okay, it's not that bad. Your okay. hair looks like it was dragged through oil. Twice. So we're only a couple of days into this challenge, and I am becoming more and more aware of how unprepared I am. I feel like every time I try to do anything, I'm hit with another obstacle of like, oh, I can't do that because I don't have the resources. And it's starting to stress me out. Now, I'm not proud to admit this, but um, I don't have shampoo and soap. So I kind of had to resort to only showering with hot water, which I wouldn't recommend. I mean, does it get the job done? I don't know. I've kind of avoided human contact. So yeah, I've been showering with just hot water. And I don't think that's doing my hair any good. If anything, I feel like it's making it more greasy. Which is just great for me. You know, I love that for me. It's not like I have to put myself out on the internet for the whole world to judge. No. So, you know, I'm doing great. And for a long time, I couldn't even figure out how I was going to get my hands on shampoo and soap. Because if you go to the supermarket, it's all got packaging in it. But then I remembered Lush. Lush do naked products. So first thing, next morning, I went to Lush. And let me tell you, that place is like a magical, non-edible candy store. Everything was so beautiful. I am sure Taz can relate. Excuse me, where would I find all the naked products? Hi. Naked products meant that they came with no packaging and were essentially zero waste. What's your name by the way? I didn't ask. Frankie. Frankie. Okay, I'm Taz. <laughs> One of the colleagues helped me through the products and found the right ones for me. Falling in love with lust. Okay, so I want to get this. You're going to be YouTube famous. No, you're good. I should go make it. Don't worry, really. I'm trying to get as naked as I can. Really? Oh, go on. 
Yes, well, we can't really. Okay, we could do that. That was a dumb idea, but that's fine. It's kind of been a bit of a lifestyle change since working here. Yeah. So I started working here. You get that promo, girl. You get that promo. <laughs> On the job. <laughs> do you wear makeup from here as well? Yes, so I've got lipsticks. Yeah. Eyebrow pencils, but you're naked. Ooh, naked. You've got naked eyebrows right now. <laughs> I saw you. I really have naked eyebrows. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I couldn't tell. Uh, hey, I haven't got makeup on either, so we're all naked on this channel. I only ended up getting two things from Lush, but it still cost me like 18 quid. I bought two things and it cost me 18 quid. So um, Lush is expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is expensive. There were no bargains to be had at Lush. But this is recycled and I'm gonna continue hopefully buying shampoo bars if this works. So technically this is cut under zero waste, I hope. I got this shampoo bar, which is called Soap and Glory, I think. And then I got myself, thank God, a soap bar, which I put in my own container. We're all about containers on this channel now. This smells like my childhood. You know those like one p um one p bubble gum. Finally gonna wash my body with soap, <laughs> which sounds so disgusting when I say it out loud. But I didn't have any other choice. Okay, guys, this is how you know I was desperate. I spent like eight quid on this, and I wouldn't do that unless I was really, really desperate to wash my body. It's really hard to get it out of there. How do I get it up? Oh, I'm gonna have to use my nails. Ah. Oh. So when you're doing zero waste, you are very limited in terms of your options. So other than Lush, I don't even know where else I would have gone to buy shampoo. This is enough to do my whole head of hair. So, and if that is the case, oh yeah, it's lathering up. You know what, actually, it's actually doing a great job so far. And if that is, ah, 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 ah. Ooh, oh my God, it actually is going, whoa. So basically you only need a little bit of a product and it like a little goes a long way whoa i managed to use up my whole head of hair that is insane i am so amazed with this oh i'm like oh, what's the name i finally feel good in my body so that's great oh yeah i like it so i just took my hair out and I was just running my hands through my hair and it feels, I'm not just saying this guys, but it feels amazing. And it smells really good. Once again, Lidl has been my savior. It has been there for me in my time of need. The one good thing about Lidl is you don't have to speak to a human being to say, can I put this in a container? You can do it all yourself. Because I am very socially awkward for that. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm struggling to put this in a container right now. I don't think this is the right size. No, it's not. Okay, that's great. And this is why I like Lidl. Lidl's is literally my life saver this week. I can get like pizza and stuff and just eat it quick so I don't have to cook all the time. Lidl's do have nuts though, so I can get nuts. I'm looking at nuts. It's not the most convenient thing carrying containers around, I must say. It's a bit awkward. I didn't know how else to store this bread because it came loose. So I found this old popcorn potato. And I'm just gonna. Oh. And that's the bread sorted! I can go on about how amazing Lidl's is for like days. So, you know, Lidl's, if you're watching this, <laughs> sponsor me. So, the next thing I wanna explore in this video is clothing. Because, as you guys know, I am obsessed with clothes. Even though I wear the same clothes all the time, I do spend to buy. I do spend to buy. I do tend to buy a lot of clothes. Now the way I think this works is people who do zero waste tend to buy their clothes through thrifting, um, so through charity shops, as opposed to stores like H&M and Zara and things like that, because it goes back to recycling. If you go and buy your clothes from charity shops, you're recycling the clothes um, as opposed to buying something brand new. So here's where the challenge comes in, right? Now, thrifting for fun is great. I've tried it before and I love it. I love getting a good bargain and you can find some really good stuff. But what happens when you need a specific item? Because in life, sometimes, say you've got a new job and you need a new shirt, what's the chances that you're gonna go to a thrift shop and find a shirt that looks perfect and is your size and is a good price and you get it quickly and conveniently. 
you know that's where I think that's where I think this whole thing would be a challenge so today's mission is I am gonna try and find a plain white t-shirt that's it just a good plain white t-shirt and I'm gonna see how long it takes me to find something that's perfect for me so I'm gonna be looking at sizing I'm gonna be looking at quality and I'm gonna be looking at price okay let's get thrifting the thrifting experience was surprisingly really quick and easy granted there wasn't much choice i think there was only one plain white t-shirt in both the stores i went to but it didn't take long for me to find them and they were both super cheap so i managed to get two uh white t-shirts from two different stores and actually didn't take me that long so that was pretty sweet i actually thought ahead for once and i bought Soap nuts, a natural chemical free detergent for your washing machine. Oh, you can do. Oh my. Oh. Oh. For something that's supposed to like clean your clothes, it stinks. I don't know if it's the packaging, but that smells so bad. So let's open this baby up, shall we? Not really sure. Oh, you're kidding. Why would they do that? Oh, well, this is the left thumb. So, online, it didn't show that it came in plastic packaging, but it, but it comes in plastic packaging. Oh, it smells so bad. We're going to try and look past the smell, and we're just going to focus at the job on hand. You use this to wash clothes, which is what I'm going to try and do now. There's all my soap net. Guys, I am not being overdramatic. She's being overdramatic. I mean, just look at her. Wear the clothes if it smells like this. Ironically, the only part of my face I haven't covered is my nose. Smell is like a zero out of ten. I am, I actually can't cope. It's actually really bad. I can't cope with this. I'm not gonna lie to you. This doesn't look like something that's gonna clean white t-shirts. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot to take the label off. Not bad. It does actually look like cleaning stuff, so that's okay. Okay, now that I look at it, it does look like clean detergent. So hopefully this actually cleans it. We shall see if this works tomorrow. You know what? It's actually crazy, but this actually smells really good. Now, I don't know what happened to that smell and how it just disappeared, but this actually smells good. So this is the first t-shirt I got from the first store. Price is £2, £1.99, so bargain. But size... A little bit too big. But in terms of quality, it's got two holes in it, mate. But you know what? I love a good oversized tee. And gosh darn it, I am going to make this work. I don't know why I just said gosh darn it. Now that I've tucked it in, it doesn't look that bad. But in total, I will give this a 5 out of 10. On to the next t-shirt. I do like the neckline on this t-shirt way better. And it is baggy, but I actually like this fit a lot more. This was only £1. So we already love the price. That's great. Um... And again, this smells good too, so you know what? I'm kind of all for these soap nuts now. They're actually not that bad. Once you get past the smell, it's fine. I prefer this one more than the other one. This I would actually wear. This I would give a 7 out of 10. I'm really happy with this one. I like it. So overall, I would say we succeeded the challenge. Yay! And um, the results are actually pretty good. It only took me 5 minutes to find these t-shirts. They were really, really cheap. This one isn't bad quality. Um, and I would actually wear it. Score! I made it for a whole week and I'm proud of myself. It was not easy, but I did it. So I guess it's the moment we've all been waiting for. How much trash did I make this week? Well, let's see. So all the cardboard I accumulated, I have put it down to recycling. So the wonky veg box, I would recycle that. Um, I guess I could actually recycle this because it's paper. A lot of it is receipts and this comes down to the fact that I'm not used to doing zero waste so by the time I could even mention to the cashier oh I don't want a receipt or email it to me they had already printed it out so I have a lot of receipts and then the other thing is like stickers food stickers because annoyingly a lot of food did have stickers in it and that's not something I can control but that is all the trash I made in a week I mean I'm proud of myself that's quite impressive i didn't make any more trash than that that has been me going zero waste for a week i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what i should try next and other than that thank you so much for watching and i shall see you guys next time bye thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and remember to click the tab